case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in a riveting clash involving corporate giants before the iowa supreme court a groundbreaking decision was made in a case of Schindler v. All-American Life and Financial Corp. in 1980. Shrouded in the complexities of merger regulations and share voting rights, this case underscored the issues around the merger of two companies, General United Group, GUG, and United Security Life Company, USL, into All-American Delaware Corporation. A particular curiosity in this corporate drama was a substantial chunk of GUG stock owned by All-American Life and Casualty Company, destined for cancellation when the merger would take effect. The plot thickened as a critical question percolated to the surface. Should the common stock of GEG be allowed to vote as a class in the merger plan? It was this question that catapulted the case to the Iowa Supreme Court, certified by the United States District Court for the Southern District of Iowa. A central part of the controversy hinging on defining a clear roadmap for different classes of corporate stock and their entitlement to distinct voting rights. The resolution, however, came with compelling clarity when the court ruled with firm authority. For a merger of Jiaoji into All-American Delaware Corporation to materialize, there was a stringent requirement. Not less than two-thirds of the outstanding GUG common stock and total shares had to be on board with the decision. Moreover, a stern warning was issued stating crafty maneuvers from merger draftsmen like renaming an actual cancellation wouldn't be an effective bypass around the law's firm constraints. Thus, the case brought a crucial facet of Iowa's corporate merger statute to the front lines, leaving a profound implication on the provisions concerning cancellation of shares and distinct voting rights of separate shareholders' classes amid such circumstances. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.